All right. In honor of Thanksgiving, I'm putting up some uh, OS 3.3 beta styles um, using the color change transition, um, as well as a lot of transition effects. Uh, so uh, these styles are uh, basically stuffed. Uh, so I'm calling it a transition feast. Um, so what I did is um, not only am I using the color change with transition, um, but I'm using uh, the transition effects uh, in multiple places on these. Um, you know, to kind of show just a, a uh, just what's going to be possible with uh, the new OS. Um, so there's there's so much more you can do. Uh, there's so much more I have in mind, um, but these are kind of just starting points for people to get an idea and see. Um, so uh, this one uh, has a 12 color setup uh, within the style, so it's going to use um, a transition on color change. This particular one I'm using is the Boing, which is basically it bounces, um, and you can define how long and how many. So this one is running think a 1200 millisecond with three bounces so what you'll see is when I change the colors the the new color will bounce in three times and then stay uh, on top of the old color um, and it's just a cool transition there's there's multiple transitions um, so there's the wipe I have um, a color cycle and a bunch more fade um, so you can take a look through and choose the one you like and then for transition effects um, so I've got a transition effect on ignition which is similar to on spark uh, which is meant to be the power up I've got a two transition effects on retraction. So the first is the cooldown effect of the blade. So what you'll see is you'll see that cooldown effect similar to the off spark that we have on the fork. Um, and then the second effect is actually the emitter cooldown. So um, actually, let me spin this this way. So when the blade retracts, there'll be a cooldown effect of the emitter as if the, the metal of the emitter was getting hot. Um, so that's there. And then there is a... Uh, uh, a begin lockup transition. So when you first start lockup, there's going to be a big flash of the blade. Um, then you'll have localized lockup. And then when you release the blade, there's a cooldown effect. You're again, using transitions there. I've also got transitions on drag. So you have a, a spark in on drag and then a fade out on drag using transitions. And then lastly, this has stab on it as well, uh, using transitions for that. So the, the transition will be a wipe in and then it'll be a fade out. Um, so just using transitions everywhere I can. Uh, there's actually more uses, but, uh, you know, I figure the style got big enough to start off. So, um, here it is. So when I first ignite, you're going to get that first power-up effect, but this uses transition effect, not on spark. So there's that transition in. And now, um, so here's stab. So stab on the main OS is different than the fork. It's actually a thrust and clash. So you'll see... You'll see a wipe in of the effect and then a fade out. And then for uh, lock up now, there'll be uh, a, a quick flash of the whole blade as if you're clashing. Uh, then there'll be the actual localized lock up and then there'll be a cooling effect or like the blade reestablishing after I release the lock up. So there's that flash, there's localized lock up, and then there's the blade going back. And then that's also on drag, but it only affects the tip, and it's a little different. So there's a quick in, and then there's a fade out. And then this has color change, so there's 12 colors, and the color change transition is actually the boing. Um, so there'll be three flashes of color, and then the color will hold. Um, I have a different props file. Um, I just set up a little bit different button control for the... Uh, for color change so on if you use my props file which is on the library it's holding power and pressing aux and that does the next color and you'll see colors kind of bounce in and as I said there's 12 of them And then again, they all have the all the transitions. So that's a stab, and then it's got the localized lockup with the flash, and then the reestablish, and then it's got uh, blast and clash. And uh, let's see, we'll go back around the red. Uh, hit it too quick uh, and that's the cooldown effect on the emitter 
So it'll go from a, a white hot to a yellow to an orange to a red. And then it'll fade out completely uh, as if the metal was cooling. Let me go back. Nice transition of the colors. Back to red. And then with my prop file, if you do the same button hold of power and aux while facing down, it'll go backwards. So it goes back to red. And then uh, all the effects are there. And then I'll show the cooldown effect again. So you'll get a cooldown of the blade, but then you'll also get the cooldown of the emitter. And then you'll see that emitter cool down. So it'll start white hot to a yellow, to an orange, to a red. And then it'll actually cool completely off. So, uh, so this is available up on the library. Uh, there's a few variations I've made. Um, these are uh, for testing the beta. 3.3 um, is still in beta, um, but there's uh, no reason they wouldn't continue working. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, you know, go and show these off at Thanksgiving if you got friends and family visiting. Um, and uh, more to come.